Hey YouTube, Copper Sand here, thanks for tuning in again. Today we're taking a look at some of the weirdest, funniest and worst exploits MapleStory has had over the years. From GM commands being available to everyone to meso exploits, let's get started. Number 5. Meso exploit. MapleStory has had its fair share of meso exploits, potions being on discount that could be resold for much more than you would buy them for, and this happened plenty of times. As you can see in this video by Kudak7777, who is buying shiny bullets for a measly 3600 mesos, but they have a sell value of 4320 mesos. Quick math tells me that 720 mesos easy profit. And I remember an even worse exploits where the same thing happened to chocolate potions, which you can actually buy in bulk. That one got patched super fast though. But anyway, before you start looking for this store, obviously we're not going to spread any active exploits. This one was patched back in 2015, so don't waste your time. Number 4. The Trucker EXP Exploit. This happened in GMS back in 2011. Truckers were a level 48 monster in the Singapore area and normally they gave around 160 XP. Pretty good. These mobs were great for training, especially for mages as you could stand on top of several signs and not get hit. And this map gained huge popularity after the Big Bang update, and not just for any reason, because by accident the monster EXP was raised to 495 EXP per mob, which is pretty broken, especially considering the monster level and HP remained unchanged, making this area the best spot to level up any character, being even more popular than the already broken Jesters in the Haunted Mansion. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash like and subscribe to the channel. Number 3. 90 days 2 times EXP cards. This one happened in MapleStory Europe back in 2011 to celebrate a new year. For the celebration, a 2 time EXP card with a 50% discount was added to the cash shop. All fine and dandy until Maples figured out that the EXP card had a 90 day duration instead of 24 hours. Whoopsie. Maples went on to enjoy these cards for a full week until Nexon realized their mistakes and swapped out the cards with a regular 24 hour EXP card. Leading to some controversy and even a statement from the Nexon Europe CEO apologizing for their mistake. And this would not be the last time MapleStory Europe would face EXP issues. If I recall, during an anniversary event there was supposed to be a 2 time EXP event, but that turned out to be 20 times EXP for a couple of hours, and we never really figured out if that was intended or not. Number 2. Maple C Maple Point Exploit Back in 2017, during the Sugar Time event, things went horribly wrong in Maple C. This event gave out a box where you could get mileage from, and mileage is similar to reward points as we know it today. However, similar to other versions, there is a limit to how much mileage players can get in a day. And if Maples hit the daily limit, the box wouldn't open, normally speaking. However, some smart Maples found a way around that and quickly this event got completely out of hand. If you were to click the box repeatedly, you would be able to get 4000 maple points instead of nothing like not being able to open the box. And worst of all, yeah, like I said, you could farm those boxes like crazy. Some maple C players were sharing screenshots where they had over 1 million maple points obtained from just these boxes. Maple C admins were swift to fix the exploit, but they also banned over 4000 accounts who abused, this, who abused this box opening glitch for investigation causing a massive controversy among the Maple Sea community, since not all exploiters were blocked and no server rollback was ever done. Number 1. MapleStory Europe Jam Command Exploit In 2012 the end of the world was predicted, and it kinda happened for MapleStory Europe. It became known that all Maplers had access to the map teleport command that usually only GMs would have access to. This enabled any Mapler to warp to literally any map by typing in a special map ID in the chat. Maplers could teleport to the special GM room, to special ore mining maps, to the starting area of Mercedes, and especially the last one was very troublesome, because teleporting to this map would give anyone 10 additional levels regardless of their current level. So go there 20 times and boom you would become level 200, which was quite a big thing in 2012. This was super heavily abused by a lot of maplers and it resulted in a lot of normal explorers with elf ears on the rankings as that would be a side effect of abusing this glitch. Like seriously though, the chat would be blue with people reaching level 200 for days upon end. Because it took a few days for Nexon to finally patch this glitch, so it was way too late for a server rollback. In the end, I, if I remember, like my memory is a bit vague on this, but I remember about 9,000 accounts or characters who abused this glitch more than two times got banned. It was a massacre, and MapleStory Europe felt the effects of this exploit for a long time. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and feel free to subscribe for more Maple content. And remember, don't exploit. Thanks for watching.